Remember when the customer said, it sounds like a helicopter in the back seat, and it turned out to be a bad wheel bearing? Well, diagnosing noises in EVs makes that feel like the easy days. Welcome to the new noise frontier, electric vehicles. EVs don't have an engine to mask noises. No valve train tick, no exhaust rumble, no serpentine whine. That means every little noise, creak, click, buzz, or hum, comes through loud and clear. Diagnosing NVH in EVs is like chasing ghosts, but it's not impossible. You just need to change your strategy. Start with the basics. Get your ears and your tools in the right place. Tools like chassis ears or Bluetooth enabled NVH analyzers are essential. Old school methods like test drives and chassis mics still work, but you've got to isolate the conditions. A lot of EV noise complaints are tire or suspension related. That's because EVs are heavy, like 800 to 1,000 pounds heavier than their gas counterparts. And that weight beats up bushings, struts, and tires faster than you think. Cup tires, feathered edges, uneven wear, that'll sound like a UFO landing at 35 miles per hour. Always inspect for alignment issues, tire balance, and belt separation, even if the tire looks fine. Now here's where it gets tricky, and gas cars, drivetrain lash, and minor gear noise get buried under combustion. In an EV, it's front and center. So if a customer hears a whine on D-cell, you're probably looking at a reduction gear issue or a bad motor bearing. That's not a tire. Modern NVH tools can break down frequencies into categories. Driveline versus tire versus body panels. Learn what a 60 hertz hum means versus a 12 hertz thump. That's your roadmap. And don't forget the simple stuff. A lot of mystery EV noises turn out to be trim panels, underbody shields, loose high voltage cable brackets. When there's no engine running, those tiny rattles sound massive. And here's a tip, recheck your torque specs. EV torque is instant and brutal. Fasteners that never backed out before, they back out now, especially on control arms and subframes. So what's the takeaway? NVH diagnosis in EVs demands better tools, sharper ears, and a fresh mindset. It's not harder, it's just different. Less guesswork, more precision. If your shop's stepping into the EV world, NVH compliance are coming. Stay ready, stay sharp, and don't chase ghosts without the right tools.